Back in the early 80s, in our school library, I found a series of books. These orange books were children's versions of the classic horror films. Each book had a main section, usually telling you about the featured creature. The rest of the book contained tidbits and mentions of other films similar to the book's main star. Now known as the Crestwood Monster Series, the Crestwood House Books by Ian Thorne included The Deadly Mantis, It Came From Outer Space, Frankenstein Meets the Wolfman, Creature from the Black Lagoon, The Wolfman, Mad Scientists, The Mummy, Frankenstein, Godzilla, King Kong, The Blob, and of course, Dracula himself. When I was a kid, I read these books over and over again. In fact, when I was in high school, I would still check them out, but this time to draw the images inside the books. One of the images that really stood out was the picture of Lon Chaney from London After Midnight in the Dracula book. The shark tooth grin was and is a jarring sight. What makes it more jarring is that London After Midnight was released in 1927 and the makeup was done by Lon Chaney himself. I've drawn Lon Chaney as the man in the beaver hat many, many times. I tried to stay true to the original images this time I decided to amp this up just a little bit. I decided to elongate the sharp pointed teeth and make his eyes as black as night. Then I made his hair a tangled mess. His pose, of course, is overly exaggerated, almost deformed. Hand coloring was a must on this. Some libraries still have copies of the Crestwood Monster series books. Digital copies are available at archive.org. You can also find them online for sale, but they're really expensive. I saw a copy of the Crestwood Monster series Godzilla book going for about 1550 bucks. I poured a little bottle of red ink on the image and smoothed it out with like a cheap, you know, paintbrush. Back in the early 80s, down on Goshen Road in Santa Fe, Tennessee, we rarely got to see these movies on TV. We didn't have a VCR yet, and my parents didn't have a film projector. So these books were our introduction to the world of classic horror, and we were thankful for it. If you like this video, please make sure you like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next Draw TV.